Hey guys, I'm Tazneem bringing you this week's review. So I watched Sarak 2. Before I begin though, I should say that I do enjoy Alia Bhatt as an actress. I think she is very talented and in the past I have enjoyed her films like Urta Punjab, Gully Boy and one of my favorites actually, Razi. Going into this movie, I wasn't too disappointed because I thought I'll at least get to see some great acting by her. Also, the first Sarak in the 90s, I still remember the music even today and it was fantastic. So seeing Sanjay reprise his role once again now, uh, it was exciting. The movie also stars Aditya Roy Kapoor. So the three of them back after Kalank, the Kalank team is sort of back. Mahesh Bhatt directing after over 20 years and the first time directing Alia Bhatt, again his daughter, he directed Pooja Bhatt in the 90s with Sarak 2, also his daughter. So Sarak 2 seemed like maybe the team, maybe everybody had put a lot of work into the story, into the production of the film to make it something really special. So the story basically follows Sanjay Dutt's character. In this movie, he's now been married to Pooja Bhatt's character for many years, but the movie starts after her recent passing. So Sanjay Dutt's character, Ravi, is still deep in mourning. Sanjay and Pooja Bhatt own a taxi company, and that's how and why Alia Bhatt comes into the picture. Her and Aditya Roy Kapoor's character hire Sanjay Dutt to take them to their destination. The movie starts off fine. Once it gets it's going, it actually goes from okay to crazy. Running alongside the story of their journey, the whole point of why Alia is doing what she's doing is based on these gurus, the Babas, the godmen-like figures in India who sort of have like a cultish following. And it's filled with all these twists along the way, but these twists just keep getting crazier and crazier. Just when you think things are going to start making sense and they're going to settle down and culminate into something that makes sense the exact opposite happens. The ending is bizarre. In terms of acting, Alia is okay. She doesn't have any sort of crazy character to work with and, and deliver any sort of outstanding performance. She has a few moments, but overall, she's just fine. Aditya Roy Kapoor really doesn't have a lot to do. He looks really good, but he kind of just gets sidelined. It's Sanjay Dutt's movie, and he is good. It is great to see him back after so long and to take on a character that's one of his more beloved and well-known characters. He's a little sad and down throughout the whole movie, but his presence really helps the movie along to actually make it more worth watching than it really would have been otherwise. The first Sarak in the 90s had an excellent soundtrack. The songs are still great if you listen to them today. In fact, some of them are played in the movie. So you're remembering what a fantastic soundtrack that really was. So you have a first-hand comparison of that soundtrack and the current one, and the current one just is completely forgettable. All in all, Sarak 2 just does not live up to the expectations of the cast of Mahesh Bhatt returning after so long. Luckily, it's streaming on digital, so you can watch it from the comfort of your own home, but I give this movie two stars. Guys, as always, if you like my review, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Follow us on our YouTube channel and our social media handles for more reviews and other great content. Subscribe to Showbiz India's YouTube channel, and be sure to click on that bell icon for instant notifications.